Ronin Pawn! Hello, I am the Ronin Pawn, and this is Hardcore Pawn. Welcome back to it, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I feel like we're going back to the moon. And we will be doing so in high style, for I have installed the Scatterer mod. This is absolutely gorgeous, the most beautiful KSP that you've ever seen. Scatterer puts in all these atmospheric density effects and you just things drift off in the distance and get foggy and if you get too far away from the space center you can't even see where the hell it is. It's beautiful. It is a lovely mod. Oh my god, wouldn't it be great if we just built a plane today and then flew around through the Scatterer mod and just showed off how beautiful it is? Yeah, we can't, because I didn't buy plane parts, so we're going to the moon. I've had a look at the contracts available to us today, and amongst them, finally, is land on the moon for 123,000 Kerbins. Money, 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 Also, we have positioned a satellite in a specific orbit of the moon, which we could do right now without sending anything up, if I had left some Delta V in, in the probe from the last mission instead of... I, I could have put the satellite in an eccentric orbit, for example, like this one, and then let the moon spin underneath me and collect most of those, those, um, uh, temperature readings without having wasted all that delta. It's done, it's over, we can't go back. Here's the orbit that we need to get at the moon. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm thinking we use the ship that we used last time, but instead of having a Kerbal return stage, uh, don't don't leave on the ablator. The, instead of having a Kerbal return stage, we slap on a second probe, one that remains in orbit for these satellite uh, missions, and one that lands on the moon. What do you boys think? What's the science crew got to say about this? Yeah, check your check your clipboard. What do you think? Can we do it? Can we do it? Do we got the delta V? Can we do this in under 30 parts? Because I don't want to upgrade the VAB if I don't have to. Can we? Can we do it? Yeah, grab a calculator if you need it. Is that a thumbs up? He just gave me the thumbs up. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. Okay, twofer, on the pad, ready to launch. Now all that futzing was about the Delta V. I've been looking at my Delta V map, but I just wanted to make sure that we're not leaving anything in space, because this has an awful lot of liquid fuel, an awful lot of Delta V. This will push us almost all the way out of atmosphere, and then we just need a little bit to make orbit. So between these two stages, we make orbit using the Beagle, and then we get into the Terrier stages and push off to the moon. Houston, I think we're ready to go. You wanna give us a countdown? Yeah, Pawn, you know that? contract to put the satellite in orbit of the moon. Yeah? That's for Probotobine. Probotobine? Yeah, Probotobine. Okay. They're really just doing it as a PR stunt. Okay. I mean, it's just totally for marketing purposes. Yeah, well, they usually are, Houston. They usually are. What I'm saying is, you know, why send two probes up when you can just send one? What do you mean? I want to land on the moon. Well, you put the probe in orbit of the moon, I take a couple of snapshots through a telescope, then you carry on and land on the moon. Houston, that is so dishonest! It's also rather lucrative. Well, maybe we'll do that next time. For today, I'm being, you know, legitimate for once. It's out of character, but I'll let it slide. In three, two, one, go! And we're off and away, holy crap, holy crap. Okay, that's not going the way that I had hoped it would go um, straight off of the bat. Oh no, 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 okay, 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 oh no, oh no, oh no, oh okay, 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 just just being careful there. Holy crap, holy pooping crap, holy, we're fine, 
We're fine. Those 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 fins that I had on before, they were really freaking helpful, is what I'm finding out. Oh, give me this. No. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do any of that. Holy poop. Is it counting as cheating to use F12 and look at the aerodynamic forces? Because I'm gonna... Oh, wow. We're going really fast. Holy crap, we're going really fast. Really, really fast. Uh, the ship a little bit already on fire. Okay, maybe I did that. Okay, it's a lot lighter this time, I think, is the thing. And wow, wow, that was a fast ascent. Oh my god, look at Scatterer. Look at Scatterer, everyone. Look at the look at the, the effects of the Scatterer. I installed that mod. It's a work in progress. It's not really. Oh crap! Uh, also, fly your ship. No, 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 no. Stay above in the atmosphere. Stay out of the atmosphere. Actually, would be the thing that I'd like you to do right now. Holy crap! I was gonna get in orbit with this. Really? Well, maybe not today. have made orbit and I think my plan for conserving our Delta V is still working. It's still making sense here. I'm going to pop open the service bays because we are in open space now and there are some um, some electric generation units in there. I don't think it really matters whether the service bays are open or not, but um, they are now, so don't complain to me about losing electricity. Log the temperature? Uh, nothing. No, been here, been, it, been here too many times, seen all of this, nothing interesting to do here at Kerbin. It's time to go to the moon. Moon ho! Okay, for those of you who are noticing the little blue wobbly thing, that is, uh, that's, that scatterer for you. Okay, it's a work in progress mod, there's a little bit of a, uh, it's wee, is <laughs> it? Hey, we're playing a Jario. I am the Azure Pawn, and this is uh, my dots. I eat your dots. I eat your Kerbin with all my dots. How are we doing for fuel in this stage? Still quite a bit of fuel left, and because we're on the little Terrier engine, that fuel translates into a crap ton of Delta V. I think we can do this, everybody. Holy crap! Okay, we're in the shadow of Kerbin right now, and all my electricity is going away. So that's a little bit scary for me. Just gonna just gonna angle the ship in such a way as to make sure that um, when we get out of Kerbin's shadow, we will have electricity coming in. Okay. Ah, lovely, lovely EC. Thank you for joining me. Hello, Moon. I think I felt a little bit of a frame jostle there, which should indicate that we are in your sphere of influence. Okay, and our periapse is kind of at a, at a decent place. I like this. So we want a 613 kilometer app away. Well, it'll be my periapse at this point, but uh, oh, whoa. I was far off of my periapse. It's fine. Just keep doing what you're doing, Pawn. Keep doing what you're doing, Pawn. Uh, yeah, yeah. Periapse at 300. What? What? 340, oh Christ, it, it looked different, didn't it? And we're running out of liquid fuel. Okay, pawn, uh, if you wouldn't mind, paying attention would be great at this point, and taking it seriously. Just because there's no Kerbal on board, this is, you've spent a lot of time and money getting to this point, don't F it up at the end. Hey, wait, you know what? I, um, I totally, I intended to do that. Yeah, that was the plan all, all along, because that will mean less for this fella to do. He'll be at a 300 k kilometer periaps. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was totally what I intended. You can go that way, and I'm gonna, f I'm gonna finish this. See you later, little guy. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> it was, it's part of the plan. Quit spinning. You're supposed to not be spinning right now. It's as though I have no reaction wheels whatsoever. Uh, I've got SAS on right now, and it's not arresting my spin in the slightest. Great. Great. Here, that arrests my spin in the slightest. Okay, it's getting kind of messy, getting kind of sloppy up here at the moon, not looking, not looking the way that I had intended it. We're going for 603, and I am, I know, my, mine is completely off of what theirs is. Don't worry about it, maybe it'll count it. If it doesn't, we'll just, we'll have to quit and never do this again. We're close, we're close, we're very close. Let's change our inclination, maybe it will count that. 
Ah, 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 ah. Ran out of electric charge instantaneously. Just in a heartbeat, ran out of electric charge. My, my gut instinct is to press F9, but listen, okay? It's out here, it's in space. Eventually it will get electric charge again. Probably, right? You're gonna face the sun sooner or later. At some point in your life. Maybe. Oh, crap. Okay, we're back online. Electric charge. Back, back working. Um, just because that scared the living tits out of me, I think maybe I will go ahead and just disable electric charge when we're not doing things. Okay, let's find one of these triangles. I'm gonna start with the angry one. Maybe that's the right one. I won't know until I start doing it, because I'm not that smart. I think this should do it. That's entirely the wrong way, Pong. Go to, go to your not angry triangle. Go to your happy and fulfilled triangle. Go to the triangle that feels as though it's made the right choices in life. Our inclination is almost there. We're nearly there. It looks like we're there, and we're there-ish. We just went a little bit past it. No, that's a good, that's gotta be a good. Hey, hey, that is a marginal deviation, right? Maintain stability for 10 seconds, but you don't like me. Why do you not like me? I'm sexy, I'm attractive. Man, you know, Probodobodyne or whatever the hell it is, they're pretty damn specific in what they want out of me. Burning in three, two, one, go. Okay, that pulled the apple apps in entirely the opposite direction. I should have done it back here, okay? But, all right, now our apple apps is kind of matchish meat. We still haven't completed the thing. We have to be stable for 10 seconds though, so, you know, I haven't been stable for 10 seconds in years. Oh look, we've made a telescope. We've made a space telescope. Um, except for the mirrors. Geez, I don't know what to burn. We're so close, we're so close. We actually need to sort of move our... We need to move everything this way. We need radial burns or something. I'm not, I don't know. This is outside of my scope of knowing anything. Uh, shoot. Maybe, huh? Uh, uh, is that, is that doing it? That seems to be doing it. That seems to be doing it. Okay, we have raised our apple apps to a stupidly high height, but we're also matching our, yeah, we're getting this side is, is lined up now. How freaking close do I have to be? There you go, 613 point, like, one. And it's spasming a little bit. So I've got my apple apps set to their apple apps. I will try to maneuver, I don't know what to do here. Final of final of final maneuvers here. We're going for 603 kilometers. Let's see if we can hit it. Eh, 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 eh. That is really close, 602. Eh, 603. So we got 603 periaps, we've matched their periaps. Appwaps was 613, my Appwaps is 613. Come on now, 10 seconds stable. 10 seconds, we're stable for 10 seconds, match the designated orbit around the moon without within marginal deviation. The hell is marginal deviation? You want my Appwaps to be where their Appwaps and my periaps to be where their periaps is, is probably what you mean by marginal deviation. Well, screw you, I gotta go to work. Okay, we're gonna be coming down in the, um, well, I believe we called that the butthole in, in recent episodes, so butthole landing in three, two, one. <laughs>